Hello everybody, it's Ashwin Rao. And today I'm bringing you a shoe from an increasingly well-regarded shoemaker out of Spain, who's already well-known in the high-end circles of male footwear. And that is Norman Villalta. Norman began as a bespoke shoemaker in 2004, having trained with some of the legends amongst Italian shoemakers, such as Stefano Bemmer and others. And for 10 years, essentially made only bespoke shoes out of his atelier, and then decided in 2014 to open up MTO and ready to wear offerings. He typically offers shoes in the price range of 720 to about 13 or 1400 US dollars although you can get slight discounts towards the lower end of that price by selecting from his group made to order offerings, which are available on his site fairly regularly. This is his four eyelet derby. It's also been featured in a variety of um, publications, including Hugo Giacomet's The Art of Male Footwear. I found this on the used market and was really excited about it because it's a brand I've been wanting to try since I wanted to try out his shoes, which are Goodyear welted. Now that he uses more advanced Goodyear welting techniques. So I'm not exactly sure what exactly that means, but it's higher quality finishing. He also does a lot of hand work and hand cutting of his uppers that are uniquely styled. And I'm gonna take you through that in a short bit. I'm gonna to start to bring the camera in so you can see a little bit more of the details. Norman has become known for his unique patina work. You can see the reverse burnishing done on this shoe from the darker upper on the scotch grain leather to a lighter color. But I wanted to give you a little bit more of a close up so you could see some unique work that he's done here. One, whereas you see that reverse burnishing, you also see that he takes the scotch grain leather, which has a much more pronounced grain. And as he brings it towards the toe, you can see that pronunciation of the grain fading to almost nothing. You can see that there. But he's maintained the general look of the grain by painting in this grainy looking patina, which I think is absolutely fascinating. So clearly a lot of work taken to create this look in his shoes. Wow, look at these little details here. So for example, this little curve along the facing, the curve along this edge that then blends towards the collar of the shoe here. And even more unique, as I bring this shoe up, is the side paneling, and you will see eventually the rear paneling here. You can see that curve right there. The beautiful double row of stitches along the facing there, blending to the single row very elegantly. He's just beautiful sweeping curves. But here's the unique thing here about his backside of the shoe. This has a seamless heel counter and a very uniquely cut leather. You can see the heel counter going there and then it actually swoops and has an asymmetric look where it turns in to part of the facing of the shoe. You can see that as I bring this around. Again, you see that unique patina work but you can see how unique this leather is cut. And yet, when you put the shoe down, it has a more traditional appearance to it. I just think this is a fascinating way to create a shoe with a little bit more effort placed on patina work and the art of crafting a beautiful and unique patina. The leather cutting, which is also a unique way to create a shoe that's entirely unique from a style that's a little bit more traditional. What else can I say about Norman? Well, as I put the shoe on its side, you can see that he has chosen a thicker commando style Vibram gum light sole to complete the look of his shoe. So these shoes cross between almost a semi-formal and more casual look as far as derbies are concerned. Yet the shoes are smartly designed, elegantly assembled and just beautifully done. If we get into the stitch details here, you can see the Goodyear welting with the exposed stitching along the edge there. Some hard fudging that's taken about 270 degrees and then fades away. A really nice joining of the welt there that's blended easily together. And a stitch density that's about 
seven or eight stitches per inch. I would say it's closer to seven stitches per inch. And just beautifully done. The last piece of the shoe that I want to show you is the lining of the shoe, which is also done very, very beautifully. You can see that unique geometric pattern made up of diamonds that make the look of slight little boxes that are essentially the padding on the heel. You might have seen this tile lining on one other brand, which is Cobbler Union, which actually holds a very similar design aesthetic at a lower price point in Goodyear welted shoes based out of America. And so Cobbler Union is a brand that I've had um, numerous pairs and I would love to have done a video review on. I believe that Cobbler Union's founder and Norman used to work together. And so many of the styles are kind of echoes of each other, including that beautiful lining that I just showed you that is also present in Cobbler Union's designs. The Goodyear Welting, similar styles. Although I will say that Norman offers more unique patina work, more unique leather cutting options, just beautifully done all around. So at the higher end of Goodyear welted shoes, you should really give Norman Volalta a try. If you're curious about the shine and the look of these shoes and some of the products that I use, I typically use pure polish products. This is their light brown wax polish, which I used on the tip here. And then for the body, I used the Walnut water resistant to help give the overall shoe a nice shine and some weather protection. So you can see the quality of the shine that I'm getting by doing that. And that is about it for today on Norman Volalta. Have a good one. Goodbye.